Oh, here we go. Welcome back to another little guy. Another little guy. What's what's the pick here? Counterspell? Preordain? Fascinating. Lots of options here. Karn is nice. I think I like Preordain better than Counterspell. Counterspell kind of locks you into an archetype, whereas Preordain doesn't. Why is this guy back in here? This guy's not very good, I'm going to be honest. Cabal Ritual also is just trash. Just take these cards out and put better cards. Put more playable cards in. Replace this guy with Triumph of St. Catherine from 40k. Replace this guy with Chaos Defiler, and I would take either one of those cards first pick here. Let's take Necromancy. And let's follow it up with being past a Mox Emerald. Sounds good. Oh, I'm so glad they added Bitter Blossom. Bitter Blossom. They added Bitter Blossom back. Yeah, we're taking uh, Mox Emerald here, though, because let's be honest, that's the best card in here. That pick is pretty good, though. We had an Urza Saga. We had a Bitter Blossom. Not the worst playables, you know? I love Bitter Blossom in Q. I think it's great. I think it really. I think it's really good in the black white like mid range decks. I think it's good in the recurring nightmare decks. I think it's good in the equipment decks. I think it it fulfills a lot of roles in the cube, and uh, I I think it's I think it's great. I do like Fleshy Boy. I like a Duress too. What if Flesh Gorger comes back? Yeah, I think it is Duress. Being able to deny them their little plans is nice. Uh, Fire Covenant is a banger. So, short of, like, not seeing reanimation things, I think Fire Covenant's just nuts. Main deck, I mean, Fire Covenant's just way better than Damnation. Fire Covenant's just a one-sided Damnation. Uh, I do like Battle Sphere just because we have Necromancy, but I'm taking the Fire Covenant. Restless Vents is a is a is a land for us. I'm also a sucker for a good Mardu deck. A braid, pretty good. Yeah, let's just take the abraid, I guess. I think having that kind of I think having a main deck answer that's also artifact removal is just just juicy. I'm gonna take Verdant Catacombs here, that seems great. Two sides is more than one sides. Fuck. He got me with math. How did he do it? He, w he used math on me. I like an Indotha Triumph. I like a Volcanic Island a lot. We can't get it with Verdant Catacomb, but it does keep open like a little Grixis. There's also nothing in this pack. I guess Black Cleave Cliffs. I mean, Black Cleave Cliffs is the color we are. Volcanic Island lets us be the color we want, though. I'm going to take the Volcanic Island. That's a Maniac pick, but if we draw... Look how, look how dark it is over here. I don't understand what this light is doing. Hold on. Let me open this up and see what's going on. Like, I just feel like I should not be this dark when I have a bright light in my face. Like, if I'm going to have this, if the light's going to be this, this dim, like, why am I even bothering? I'd rather have no light at all. That's a better. All 
Yeah, that's actually significantly better. All right. Hopefully that'll do. Cut down Inferno Titan Ugin again. Ugin. I think it's just Inferno Titan here. I don't I don't love cut down. I don't think it hits enough. There's a dam. I like Seething Song a lot though. I am a Seething Song stan. I also like Valky here. Hmm, interesting. I did know that, look how, look, look how dark I am again. Is it because I put my hand in front of my face like this? I don't get it. Why is it doing that? And then it just like slowly lightens up. I don't understand. I feel like my Elgato lights did not do this. Flame Tongue Kavu is just a solid gentleman. I still feel like my face is not illuminated properly. I want you guys to just leave. Just leave. Karize. Maybe we're in a Shoba brawlering. I doubt it, but maybe. Uh, we'll take this guy, sure. Waterlogged Grove. Or we can be Jund, splashing blue for Ancestral. Sure, what the hell. Mind Collapse also kills Planeswalkers. I don't know what this this deck just became, but Sentinel and Brawler are not terrible. Are we just Jund again? This look, it's, this side of my face is so dark and I just raised all the brightness. So I don't get it, man. This is a maximum brightness. And it just hurts my eyes. Is it not over far enough? Maybe it's not over far enough. I don't know, man. I got to figure out. There's the Ancestral, though. <laughs> Let's get excited about that. That's exactly why we took this stupid volcanic island. Yep. All right. Ancestral recall it is. Moist Jun, baby. Yeah, maybe it's like too far over, so it's lighting this side more than this side. I don't know. Do you want to be bright or do you want your eyes not to hurt? Buddy, that's a question I ask myself daily. Every time I'm like, what's the bare minimum of lighting I can use where I don't suffer eye strain? Like literally, sometimes I can feel this eye twitching. Like my eyelid twitches a little bit and I'm like, that doesn't seem good. Oh, Ragavan. Ragavan does seem good. Yeah, I'll take Ragavan. Bit of reunion coming back would be great as well. <sighs> do you want to be bright? Or do you want to be... Do you want your eyes not to hurt? Oh, man. You could not have asked a better question. Blood Crypt seems perfect. We can get it with Verdant. Fixes the mana. Yep, easy pick. Easy pick. Let's not forget we have this Mox Emerald as well. Everything else in here pretty playable. I was tempted to wear glasses. Like, I was tempted to just be like Casey Neistat and just wear glasses when I stream. Just to preserve my vision. What do we got in this one? That case is empty. Okay. Oh, I do like a hull breacher. The problem is, are we going to have anything to go with hull breacher? This one is, this is an old pair of tortoise club masters. It's not terrible. The, the problem is I feel really pretentious when I'm wearing glasses while I stream, you know, but it does help. Shit. Maybe that's correct. Fuck. No one does this either. So it's not like I'm like, this is nicer. Shit. <laughs> Maybe I'm onto something here. Oh, God. So also I think so this is the Tortoise Club Masters. We also have oh these are some these are some uh wayfarers that I painted white. 
I think it's just Hull Breacher here. Oh, Dak Faden. Hmm. And then we have these guys. Which are just some classic Wayfarers that I painted white. Rafine's Tower, we are not white. These also, this helps a lot though, man. This is wild. I'm actually super impressed by how well this is working. Let's take Dak Faden. I feel like we can just be Jund. Or uh, not Jund, Grixis. And like not worry about the green cards really. But the green cards might just be free. Spellseeker so far gets a Braid, Duress, and Ancestral. It's not terrible. I think it's better than anything else in this pack. Displacer Kitten is pretty nifty. Especially if we get Coveted Jewel. Did they take Coveted Jewel out? Let's find out. It does not look like it. Yeah, I think Kitten has higher upside. Man, I love a good Kitten, you know what I'm saying? Party Artie, glad to hear it. I just checked, I, I saw that they did not remove it, so. So I like Sylvan Library, if we're not green, I would take Miscalc. Might just be worth being green though. Maybe we're not black. What if we're what if we're just lightly splashing for the black cards? Let's take Sylvan Library. It's just a better card. I mean, pack three is dress down, really. Interesting. I walk away for five minutes and all of a sudden I'm not cool enough for the stream. Oh, interesting. I it might just be concealing curtains here. Could also be this little gentleman. Or it could be Underworld Breach. We could do the Breach. I don't love it. I'm not a big breaching guy. This is definitely more helpful. Holy shit, this is like a game changer. I'll take the curtains. I think it's the best card in this pack. I guess we'll take Haunted Ridge. Uh, let's sort by color. Okay, we're very heavy red, about even on blue and black. I like Haunted Ridge better as a land. Okay, the card we wanted did not come back. Upheaval came back. I do like Gix. Yeah, let's take a Gix. We're now heavier black. Oh, true name Nemesis as well. Oh boy, this is really putting us all over the map. That's a late true name. I don't want a double blue card, but that is a late true name nemesis. <sighs> I want to take the true name nemesis. I, oh, days. All right. I think we're, oh, goal span. I think we're leaning heavier into non-green right now. Which is fine. Like this actually looks pretty good. And we just have Mox Emerald to splash, and Verdant Catacombs gets our black sources anyway. Oh, Bloodstained Mire? Fantastic. Also, One Ring? Fantastic. Yeah, I think we're just Grixis here. Dark Ritual, One Ring, and Bloodstained Mire. Oh, I feel like it's Bloodstained Mire for the fixing, because we're kind of all over the place. Which is really frustrating, but it's actually the perfect land. Yeah, I think it has to be Bloodstained Mire. I think we have to use our uh, our Restraint. I think it's Talisman of Creativity. On color Talisman for two of our colors is pretty pretty fantastic. Oh, Wooded Foothills is nice. It really it gets uh, right now it gets Blood Crypt and Volcanic, which is fantastic. Oh, I love that they put the retro art dark, the retro frame dark confidant in here. I also added this guy to my cube as well. Uh, I was almost gonna take it. No, Wooded Foothills is the correct, is the ticket. Oh, Xander's Lounge. Shit! Look at all these. This is like the perfect mana base. Wow. This just exploded. Chandra seems pretty good now that we've just fixed our mana tremendously. 
Uh, it's from Ravnica Remastered. It's the new, it's one of the new retro frames from Ravnica Remastered. <sighs> I mean, honestly, yeah, with Wooded Foothills and Bloodstained Mire and Verdant, if we get any green fetch land or any green uh, searchable land, like we can easily just toss in like Sylvan or Seeker's Chariot. Dude, Michael is pounding the fuck out of some chicken upstairs. I think we're just taking Chandra here. I think Chandra's very good. We also have Seething Song. I like a Sunken Ruins. I'd rather play this than like Hedge on a Tap Land. No, I take that out of context. He's pounding the fuck out of some chicken up there, guys. Yeah, I like that Dark Confidant art a lot. I, I replaced my playset and my my cube version with that. Um, pfft. this pack's pretty terrible for us. Oh, we can just take Spire Bluff, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Thespian Stage, and there's a Dark Depths going around. We don't have anything to go with the Zerda, unfortunately. We're missing a bunch of playables. We might just have to run green. Ugh, that's gross. I guess we can take Magda. Yeah, whatever. Magda's fine. It's a playable. As you guys could, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm a Ray-Ban stan. And they're all polarized as well. Pest infestation. Pest infestation should not have tabled, and it's definitely worth splashing. Wow. Yeah, I was never a Maui Jim guy. I don't have the Maui Jim vibe. Though I appreciate them as glasses. I worked at the Sunglass Hut for like two years in downtown St. Petersburg. It, I mean, they're all owned by Luxottica anyway. It's the biggest monopoly ever, so... I would love a searchable green source. I don't think we're going to get it. But I will take a pest infestation. Half your mods got ray banned. Please leave. <laughs> oh, dear God. Well, that is a green source. It's not searchable, though. Brain freeze. And there is... No, we passed the... Um... The breach. Yeah, I'll just take Sanctum and we can just play it. And, like, play one forest. To get with Wooded Foothills and Verdant Catacombs. Because being able to put in like Sylvan Library or Sakura Tri Builder, or uh, not Sakura Tri like a Seeker's Chariot feels good. Oh, Spara's Headquarters. Also through the Breach, and we literally have nothing to Breach. Except a Gruff's Triplets. Yeah, I'll just take Headquarters. It's a, it's a dual land. It's a searchable dual land. We can get it with Wooded Foothills. And I th think that's it. No, we can get it with Verdant Catacombs as well. Yeah, it's just a breeding pool for us. All right. So this is 12. So we're at 22. I can think we just put in Sylvan Library. Sunfall. Five mana Wrath. Interesting. Yeah, we'll just take Witherbloom as a side. Our sideboard card is literally our sideboard is literally six green cards and an orcish lumberjack. That's pretty funny. Territorial Kavu. I can also see putting in like a Seeker's Chariot. Do we have enough things to do with Displacer Kitten? This deck's all over the place. If this deck doesn't do well, I would not be surprised about that either. <laughs> uh, 
I'm trying to temper my expectations here. Oh, robber might be better than Sylvan Library. I mean, I don't think it's better, but it might be a better option. And yeah, a Manamorphose. All right, so let's take out all the mana sources, which is which are plenty. This is 23 here. Can we discuss how Lotus is old border, but the mock? Yes, yes, we can. And it's really weird. It's weird how some of the power is in the retro frame and some of it is not. I don't understand. I think details like that are really important. And I wish they like, like my cube on cube Cobra is completely curated. I have every version that you see is the version I have in the cube. Like, I just think that's really important. I think aesthetics are important. I think curating that kind of like really specific experience is important. Like that, that, that kind of stuff matters. But yeah, we have Territorial Cavo in the retro frame, you know, like Mox Emerald, not in retro, but Territorial Cavo in retro. Eh. Oh, what up, hero, hero pile. So yeah, I, I, I'm trying to wear glasses to see if it helps with the the light that I stare into when I'm streaming. <laughs> I'm like, let me see if this works. So we'll see. Uh, this just feels like the deck. I mean, this just feels like a solid... I thought we were going to be reanimator because we started with necromancy and then took basically black and red cards. But I mean, this mana base is... Pretty nuts, right? So let's sort by color. Two green cards seems totally fine. Talisman can go in the blue red pile. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, so we get five lands. Let's start with the red. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is 10 red. Let's say fine. Blue, we have Blood Crypt can get Volcanic Island. So one, no, no, it can't. Bloodstained Mire can get Volcanic Island. So one, two, three, Thank four, you. five, six, because of Xander's Lounge, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is ten, ten right now. Okay, that's pretty good. Homeschool Joey, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. 10, 10. All right, now black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seems good too. And we also get one more, so we can go nine on black. And green, we have Bloodstained Mire. Do you get anything? Let's add this to the deck like this and sort by, why did you, why did you move everything? Sort by color. Why did you do that? Okay, you can go over here again. Okay, you're not, you know, you want to go over there? There you go. Okay, so fetch lands over here just to make my life easier. Uh, Bloodstained Mire, I don't think gets a green. No. Okay. So green sources, we have one, two, three, four five green sources for two green cards that seems fine so it's literally 10 10 10 5 yeah okay i might want to add a forest instead of the second swamp swamps we have 10 right one two three four five six seven eight nine now we have nine so it's 10 10 9 10, 10, 9, 5. I'm tempted to add one more green just so we can search for an untapped green source with our two fetch lands because right now we have to get Sparrow's Headquarters. If we want to just like, if we hit Wooded Foothills and we have to Pest Infestation, I think it's kind of important. I'm going to take a Mountain out. I think we can go to 9 because we have Talisman of Creativity. I don't like having just a green source when we have so many cards that don't work with it. Maybe that's not good, actually. Yeah, let's just not do that. 
Nuclear radiation. What does that do? I can just search for nuclear on Scryfall and that'll probably come up. Do you mean nuclear fallout? I don't see a nuclear radiation. Unless it just hasn't been added to Scryfall yet. All right, let's see if this is a playable deck. Oh, nuclear, you're right. Nuclear radiation. I probably just looked it up wrong. Someone tell me what rad counters are because I haven't looked them up yet. And man, do I fucking love some fallout. What other kind of radiation is, radiation is there but nuclear? Uh, is gamma radiation and nuclear radiation, are those different? They are not different, no. Oh, that's too bad. I'm not a physicist, okay? Oh, nuclear radiation. And then you hold up your fist and say, bam. Do you just say bam or do you actually, do you hit them? Not all radiation is nuclear. In your face, big stew. Big stew is getting some nuclear radiation is what's happening. I'll keep this hand. If we get another blue source, we can Xander's on turn two, which is nice. I love a savage knuckle blade, man. Look at that beautiful lotus petal. Don't do anything broken. I am going to go get a black lotus. Do you see? Oh, a retrofitter foundry. I got the abrade. Oh, look at that. It was another blue source. Oh, boy. Little Frankie's having a time, my dudes. Boo -doo 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 -doo. You gotta be kidding me. It's not great. Yeah, I think I did I add this back? I've either been I've either added this back or considered adding it back recently. Let's see which. Uh, looks like I've considered. I don't think I've done it yet. I'm a little afraid to pull the trigger on him. I think it's really good, and I think it's kind of unfun to play against, but I also think it's not terrible. Do we run out this Chandra? What if we Chandra and then abrade the Retrofitter Foundry? That seems decent, right? One, two, three, four... Does she resolve? She do. Add to. Uh, destroy. You gotta be fitting me. Cabal, and thank you for the resub, my dude. Really appreciate you, my dude. You got it. Make your little gentleman. Chandra will go to two, presumably. And then we can gold span dragon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight mana if we gold span and make a treasure. Then it got countered and I died. Man, that sounds like a cube experience. You just play against J-Bro and then you die. Yeah, that's fine. It's all it's all part of the plan. I mean, we get to deal seven next turn and if we Chandra and deal them two, then it's lethal on board. Yeah, that's fine too, I guess. They're doing a lot of things. You got it. Oh, we also have Fire Covenant, so we're just going to wipe their board. <laughs> this is why Fire Covenant is just a fucking banana of a card, dude. So, we add two. We go Goldie. Attack. 
Yeah, this game's over. Assuming they don't have like... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Three, two... No, this guy's gonna die as soon as... This guy dies, right? So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna take 11 here. Uh, add double red, black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your covenant is fucking broken, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wipe your little board now. Jesus Christ. Remember when Sora wanted me to take damnation over this? Damnation. It should be a sorcery. It is not a reasonable card. <sighs> and taking your taking your glasses off, it's like, oh, the whole world is new again. Uh, yeah, I think we're just good like this. I don't know. Pest infestation seems great. Uh, yeah, I mean, all right. Uh, I mean, didn't they go Mox into Trinket Mate? Like, they, their start wasn't terrible. That's true. That's true. I, I, I would not have taken all that damage if it were Damnation. A valid point. See, like right now, my my eyelid is like twitching, and I don't know what that means. Should I get that checked out? Am I gonna be okay? <laughs> yeah, I'll start with the lounge. Dry eyes, stress, fatigue, eye strain, and medications can contribute. Weird. Okay. Well, these are a lot of lands. I can't kill that guy. I guess I can mind collapse it. I don't really want to, though. That was a golf triumph, huh? Interesting. Okay, great. Fantastic. I'm loving it. Just play a blood crypt here, I guess. Oh, what can we get with Verdant, actually? We have a swamp here. Do we have one more swamp to get? Oh, there's hard casting a Lorian real. That's wild. See why I didn't have a Bowmasters there. How do I view my deck? View my deck. Uh, change decks. Does that do it? Okay, so I don't know if we can get anything with it. We have two swamps. Like, we just have to get the second swamp or else it's a blank. All right. Hmm. That seems good. I do kind of think I just want to get the swamp here just so we don't accidentally draw it. Uh, let's use this guy goldspan dang it so i guess we can just play gix here yeah it's 
not great, but it'll do. Any port in a storm, you know what I mean? Uh, let's get rid of this other swamp. All right, I have five cards in hand. That's a lot. Their their draw three cost five. My draw three cost one. But they have significant mana. We have what a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We have four. It's pretty good. We also have six mana sources in hand and a mind collapse. <laughs> so you know, perfect. All right, three cards now. Interesting. <sighs> yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could have sacked a land to do that. I'm not sure if that would have been better. If we sack a land... I guess they could still block with this guy, right? They just make a token and block. And they still get to just keep Mana Leak in hand. So, it doesn't seem like they have a ton of things to do here. Other than, like, just good Retrofitter Foundry action. Alright, what do you get now? They have more? More than this? Enough to, like, have to think about it? Wild. Lotus Petal, sure. Okay. So they have one card in hand. Gives them a lot of mana for Retrofitter Foundry. So can I just activate this? Discard X cards, exile the time X cards of your opponent's library. You may play lands and cast spells without paying their mana costs. That's interesting. Our hand kind of sucks. So what if we go, what is it, three black? We can go five, six, seven, eight. Or we can play a land, but I'd kind of rather play a land off of their stuff and we're getting rid of the cards anyway. We're either losing, we're losing one card either way and then hitting five. So let's go one, two, three. Wait, what? Black, black. One, two, three, four, five. Five cards. Spin the wheel. Let's see how good your deck is. Not good at all. 
crop rotation soul guide lantern and three lands what is this deck <laughs> okay i mean it's not that much worse than my original land i guess sacrifice the land we'll get rid of mountain play lands and cast spells i did there are no more done i mean i guess we get to yeah i guess we get to get rid of academy Crop rotation for like <sighs> Haunted Ridge, probably. Just thins the deck a little bit. We get this guy. We do get to draw a card. Yeah, this was not the best Gix. Let's get rid of your Academy, I guess. And I guess we'll draw a card. And there's a Magda. All right, well. Not the best Gix five cards we could have hit. Three lands, a crop rotation, and a soul guide lantern. Yeah, actually, I think it probably would have been better to just exile their graveyard. I mean, they get to kill two lands, which is fine. It's not the best, but... I mean, I don't feel like we're in great shape anyway, so... I'm going to play Fast Bond. Okay, so we... We know their, their deck is much more graveyard focused. Yeah, that's a 4-4. Four, four. Huh. So, one, two, three, four. That's pretty good. Get rid of you. Probably too little too late, but. <sighs> Crucible, great. You got it, man. I guess you, yeah, sometimes they just have it all, you know? You know, don't complain about having it, me having it all when in the next game you get to have it all. Nothing gets rid of graveyards, so yeah. I mean, we have all of our all of our answers in the main deck already. This seems good. Getting volcanic to go Ragavan into ancestral seems great. Didn't we almost have it all? They also don't strike me as a deck that has a ton of answers for this guy. We can also just daze whatever they play. Oh, I like that. Big Raggles McGaggles. Yeah, okay. You got it. Uh 
This is Big Ponder. They chose to shuffle. Okay, I was wondering if they were just going to set up a draw for for Ragavan's hit. Botanical Sanctum. Good old Bosank, if you know what I mean. If we'll play this guy. Maybe we just play True Name here. That feels correct. Blue, black, this choose you. What if you chose yourself with true name? Boy, wouldn't that be awkward? This is a hell of a start. This is probably an unbeatable sequence of events. Oh yeah, that's not good. Interesting. Oh, we can actually concealing curtains and activate concealing curtains this turn. Island. God, we just keep hitting lands, you know? So let's go Clayton's. It's Clayton's for you. One, two, three. Booga booga. Trinket, Tinker, and Blightsteel. So they can go land, Tinker this, and then we just daze it. I think that's fine. Blightsteel's in hand. Uh, no, you can have all that. <laughs> I took nothing. Why wouldn't you take Tinker? Because I don't care about it. <laughs> it doesn't bother. You got Blight still in your hand, man. It's weird to ask me that. I can't respond, obviously. Because Tinker sucks, that's why. Are they waiting? Are we? Are they waiting for me to respond before, before they make their play? <laughs> Tell me why you didn't take it, or else I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> what? Well, I didn't have a counter. If you want a two for one yourself and then I counter it, like what the, insanely lucky I don't have portal in my deck. I mean, what? You don't know what I have. <laughs> what a, <laughs> what a, why would you live your life this way? I don't understand. That's so funny, dude. Like, I know that I would have... You're so lucky I didn't have Portal in my deck. Well, maybe that's why I didn't take your stupid Tinker dick face. Uh, we'll keep this. Is that aggressive? Is that too aggressive? It's just so frustrating. Like, I mean, I get it, man. You get you're having a bad day, but don't take it out on your opponent, man. You don't know what I have. It's the Vintage Cube. There's like four free counter spells. There's Force of Will. There's Days. There's Force of Negation. Like, <laughs> there's so many things. And I saw your hand. So, I know you didn't draw one. Like, or I know you didn't have one in hand, rather. Like... <laughs> Like, unless you drew it. Okay, cool. It's so weird to just be like, I I know, I, I oh God. I hate Thalia so much. It's just so much. 
I think we're just playing this and trying to Gix into Flame Tongue. Having a couple creatures here that are valuable is good. Oh, no play? Great. Really? Mana tithe. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I'd rather the flame tongue resolve, so... I guess... You know, we're just living our best life. Unless they go Elite Spellbinder. They didn't. Alright. Oh, that's sad. Let's get probably Volcanic Island here, right? One, two, three, four. See you later, bish. Oh, a true name. Interesting. Let's give you a little duress. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, they're just making their guy immediately. That's interesting. Oh, great. So they have Skyclave Apparition. That's good to know. This is a fine trade. If this land came into play untapped, it would be great, because then we can kill their guy. They should have waited till combat to do that, but... Wow, Council's Judgment would have been great against True Name Nemesis. Holy crap. Get rid of that Emperor. So we know they have Skyclave Apparition. That's the only card they have. Uh, I guess we just play this guy and make them find an answer. That's probably game. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a guy because that guy's good. All right. Well, which player did you choose? It's true name Nemesis. Great question. Uh, one land, huh? I don't love it, but I do love... As much as I love this hand, yeah, this hand is much better. Okay. Um, do we just pitch Seething Song? Probably. It's unfortunate Duress can't hit Thalia. Oh. Raggles. I'll do a little raggling. Hey, look, it's Thalia again. Oh, 
Oh, let's take that parallax wave. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, get that Thalia in the air. Give her float. Actually, just give her lifelink. Don't give her float. Or give her vigilance. Okay. Oh, no attack. What? Really? Oh, dog. Dirty dog. That's going to be good, you know, eventually. Oh, boy. Next turn, that's going to be a bloodbath. The question is, do we deck Faden and steal the Seraph first? What do we know they have? We know they have Stoneforge. And that's it, I think. All right. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be a fire covenant. What do they get? Batter skull? Oh, we're just going to batter skull and then st we're just going to kill everything and then steal with. Yeah, this is. One, two, three, four, two, one, three, two. This is not a reasonable card, man. Unless they have mana tithe. Unless that's like the one card they drew. <laughs> it was not. Leonin Arbiter, sure. Leonin Arbiter, is that what it's called? Relic Order. Leonin Arbiter makes them not be able to fetch. Just go land Batter Skull. No. Oh, that's good too, though. Oh, man. Deck Faden stealing the One Ring and then blinking. Is that is this owner? It's owner. Dang it. Okay. Well... Hmm, interesting. We can't let them keep the One Ring, right? Like, that's just not a good strategy. We keep this to blink deck. Yeah, so this turn we go deck, steal the One Ring. Next turn we go Kitten, Mox Emerald to steal this. Or to, to blink Dak and then steal the Batter Skull. That's the play. Oh, okay, great. Uh, no, we can't hit anything because they have the One Ring. So. That is not how Ragavan works. I know how to read, don't worry. It's okay, he only has 19 lines of text. So, totally, totally normal card. That is not overpowered in any way, shape, or form. They didn't let us do the DAC thing. All right, round thrice. Let's see if it's nice. Oh, turn one talisman? Yeah, definitely snap keep this guy. And then turn to Yogmoth. This guy. This guy. This guy. Okay. Seems good. I, I said turn to Yogmoth. I meant Yogmoth Praetor. <laughs> Obviously. I know I know the difference. I know these characters. Oh yeah, take a look at what's left. Two free spells and a braid and a gix. I think mind collapse is good, yeah. Why, you don't like mind collapse? You little baby? I mean, it's just red snuff out, right? Don't daze this guy. I got nothing. I got nothing left if you daze him. <sighs> Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Oh yeah, that's good. This is what father likes. Interesting. Do they just let me eat Jace? Eat that Jace. Yeah, I agree with both of those points. I mean, this hit, this can hit Planeswalkers, though, which I think is really big, especially for red. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah, pay a life. What are you, crazy? Oh, I guess we should have played Chandra there. I guess we couldn't keep Days up. I don't know if which is more important. Is Gix really just going to run rough shot over? Gix is like Glint Sleeve Siphoner that draws a card every turn. He said, no, wait, I've changed my mind. Okay, great, great. Yes. Spar's headquarters. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. It lets us go headquarters into Chandra. And keep up days through the headquarters. Oh, that's, that's good. Okay. Okay. Cast the Verdant Catacomb? Mm, I don't think so. Well, they're at 10. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's, that's a great use of your turn. I feel like we're way ahead here. See, look how dark my face is right now. I don't understand what's happening. Is it the camera? I don't know, man. I'm... I'm having a confusion. All right. Well, that went well. We've, we've yet to board anything in or out, so... I literally saw Jason some lands that came. Maybe it's the rings if the camera is checking for brightness on reflect. What does that mean? The rings. Are you referring to like my what rings? What are you saying right now, Frogler? <laughs> Frogler, tell me what's going on. Uh. Okay, game two. Let's see if we can... Uh, I don't hate this. We can get Spar's headquarters with this one and just Xander's lounge with this one. Did I miss any clippable moments? I don't think so. Man, I would kill for a Mox here. Mox into Talisman into turn two deck. Okay, so we're just going land Talisman, right? Seems good. And now if they if they play an artifact, that would be great. Play like Palantir. And then I'll let you draw. No, 
I won't let you draw, and then I'll take it, and then I'll play Spar's head. Okay, they didn't do anything? What's going on? <laughs> what is happening? I think we just play Magda here. I don't want to run Dak out into, like, three open mana. Oh, oh, that's sad. <sighs> what is this? What's this? Um, sure. I mean, we have Fire Covenant. Mox or Seething Song would be great here because then we can do both Fire Covenant and Goldie. We can also just steal this artifact. That's just an island. I mean, do we just gold span, give them a turn with their... Yeah, that feels correct. This is the most expensive card. We can play both of these next turn. Get in there, you little rascal. Also, if they end up targeting this with something, we can, in response, make a treasure, sack them both for four, and then fire covenant. So that's a nice little out. They're gonna spin the wheel? Four blue, Karn. Okay. So I can kill Karn. Oh, they're gonna kill our gold span somehow. Oh no! <sighs> Sagar is a non-token creature. I guess this one. <laughs> sad, very sad. Oh, that's great. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can go f Molten Collapse on Karn and then Fire Covenant your board. Mm, I don't hate it. One, two, three, four. There's that whole collapse kills walkers thing. Yeah, like being able to just hit their car when we had no other way to do that is pretty good. Play a good, eh, I was like, play a good artifact. I'm like, that's not a great artifact. I might still steal it though, just cause it's all they have. Uh oh, that's fascinating. Oh, that's fascinating. Well, with no other creatures, now we're definitely stealing that. Uh, I think I do want another black source, so I'm gonna play Blood Crypt and then pass. Don't kill my deck. Oh, that's really good. Oh dear. No, don't like that. Well, we get three looks. Oh, okay. This guy. Pest infestation. Duress, come on. Oh God. Man, pest infestation would have been sick.
That's frustrating. Well, we might as well duress because we're going to lose our deck. Oh, wow, that was a good hit. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Well, that sucks. If we took Jitte, we would have actually lost. I guess we could have just drawn instead, and then they would have dealt one. I mean, we wouldn't be able to steal. We would be in the same situation. They would still have Dak. Well, true name nemesis with a Jitte on it is nothing to fuck with, as the as the Wu Tang Clan would say. Can I block? I, I guess I can't choose blockers. I mean, Pest Infestation would be great here. What else would be great? A Braid? I'll take in a Braid. Sure, get your bird back. <sighs> Sylvan Library. I mean, that'll do for now. It's good enough for government work, you know? We get three looks next turn. We get to take five and go to six, and then we're dead on board if the three looks don't find anything, so really need an answer. Man, I felt like we were in great position after that Fire Covenant Mind Collapse turn. True Name Nemesis is a hell of a drug. All right. That doesn't do it. Hmm. Well, shoot. <sighs> yeah, that doesn't do it, does it? One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Inferno Titan doesn't kill anything. Gix. I was thinking if we can play Kitten and Gix, we could blink the, the Jitte. Um... And then it has no counter, so we're only taking three. But in order to do that, we have to take four. I mean, I guess we can take this, and if they play anything, we can daze it. it it's not... Oh, no, I guess they I guess they have to play it on... Um, they can just respond by pumping. Yeah, this doesn't do anything. All right, yeah, let's just go to the next game. I mean, Witherbloom kills a Jitte. It also kills an X1 like Baleful Strix. Is that good enough? I think our deck is good. We haven't hit Pest Infestation. We haven't drawn Hullbreacher once or Necromancy. Fire Covenant consistently. Fire Covenant almost like the, 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 I have a hesitancy to even include Fire Covenant in my own cube just because it's so good. Every time I play it, it's just like absolutely busted. Like it's almost too good. Like it just wipes the board once. It's like a parallax wave that costs one less and the creatures never come back. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, this is great. Snap keep this. Turn one Magda gets us a treasure next turn, which means we can actually curtains and land. We can also play it off Volcanic Island, which lets us keep days up. So this is like the exact hand we want in this deck. Probably gonna daze if they try to fatal push her, just because it's. I think it's worth getting the treasure every turn. You got it. Get a little peeksy. Get a little peek behind the curtain, if you know what I mean. I bet you do. You guys are smart.
Oh, that's pretty sweet. Um, we do need a second black. Okay, so we're just gonna play Gix here. Still get to keep up days, which is great. Enlightened tutor. I don't I don't really care about that. I don't think there's a one I guess they get lotus. Which is fine. Like I'm thinking Lotus or like Baleful Strix or Jitte, like those are some of the ones we've seen. Thought sees. Um, <laughs> so it's interesting because they might just, they're going to take days and then they're going to play something for four. But if we do this, I guess they just let it resolve. Maybe, maybe not. And now they only have three mana. Like we've seen like Urza and Karn, both of which were oppressive four drops so fingers crossed they don't have a good three drop i guess if they toxic deluge for three it's gonna be real sad blue mana for true name sure yeah that's good that was a good turn yeah that's pretty bad hmm I wonder if we just should have played Curtains instead of Gix and just ripped this guy out of their hand. I don't know. It's possible simply because Gix doesn't do anything unless he's actually... Uh, like, Gix doesn't have to connect. So we could have actually just played this and then attacked with both to get the two. So, that island cycle. I mean, look, what answers do we have for true name? Not many, unfortunately. This is this is one of the reasons why I'm on the fence about it. Like, it's it's a great card, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. Like, like the game is just stalled now. Like, I can't do anything. I mean, we can attack with both. They just eat Gix. We get a treasure, and we hope to draw something good. Like, is it worth trading Gix for one card? Probably not. <sighs> kind of frustrating. I mean, it's very likely we should have dazed the Lotus. That seems bad, though. Like, not, not the Lotus, but the Enlightened Tutor, rather. But they knew we had days, so it felt like kind of a bait. I don't know. There's a lot of forks here in this game. Uh, sure... No attack either. Oh, <laughs> I don't have a second blue. Let's get one. Isn't fork on the reserve list? Okay. 
I mean, they're at 12. We're at 23, so. Yep. Also going to play a land. I don't really want to get blown out here by something stupid. They're going to have Shouldered's Edict Watch. It's going to be really sad. They have the perfect fo spoil for uh, for a true name nemesis. Oh, but they didn't have it there, I guess. Swamp Cycling. Mono Lord of the Rings swamp Cyclers. Oh, now we're racing? Fascinating. All right. That's interesting, because now I get to just connect. I guess they couldn't block this guy anyway, so... Yeah, the best way to beat a true name nemesis is to have a true name nemesis, I guess. All right, give us a turn. Next turn, we can Hull Breacher and a Braid. Come on, don't do anything. Don't do anything stupid. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. More mana. I don't know what this could be. Baleful Mastery getting rid of Gix. Oh, the One Ring. Huh. Oh, I see. Yep. Well, we do have a Hull Breacher to counter their future activations, which is kind of nice. Oh, we can't target them with the Duress? That's frustrating. So whenever it deals combat damage? Yeah, so it does nothing right now. All right. Two TNNs can never collide. They just go through each other like ships passing in the night. Oh god, of course you have an answer in re in response. <laughs> I guess that's fine. I don't know. It's kind of obnoxious, but they don't have mana after that. Yep. Too bad I couldn't target you with duress last turn. Uh, let's see what we draw first. There's no reason to. Yes. Oh, go to land. Oh, wow. Shoulders Edict, Fractured Identity, Liliana. <sighs> I think Fractured Identity is probably the best card they have here. But it, it spends their whole turn? Oh, God. Liliana makes a sacrifice Gix. I mean, that's fine if that's their one. I guess they could also then shield its edict. They can do both. So actually, I think it's... One, two, three, four, five. None of these other cards do anything, and they're basically dead to this guy in two turns. They could also target their own ring, which I think is actually fine. I guess I kind of want to get rid of Liliana here. Like if you want to edict, you can't fracture identity. If you want to fracture identity, you can't edict. You can't play Kappa Cannon. You can only play one thing basically. I guess you're drawing two cards. Three cards? I don't know how many cards you're drawing. You're at three. You're dead to True Name Nemesis, so. Yep. 
Yeah. Oh, what up, Sniper Main? Oh, good games. Oh, we did it. All right, second trophy with the second deck feels good. That beats that that uh validates the first draft that we did there, so that's nice. Let's open this treasure chest as a little as a little reward for y'all. Ready? Come on, one ring. 35 play points and an experimental expressionist and a leave to chance. What is this guy doing? Like a like a knee? I don't know. 35 play points, though. I'll take it. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.